Good morning, boys and girls. It is lovely that you are joining us. What makes me really excited is being able to read the Bible and to tell you, boys and girls, all the messages of what God tells us, of how God loves us so much. Our story today continues from our story from last week when Paul was in Thessalonica. So, Paul was preaching and teaching the people about God's word. But there were some jealous Jews and they sent men to go and find Paul. But they couldn't find him. Later that evening, the believers quietly took Paul and Silas to a place called Berea, while Timothy stayed in Thessalonica teaching the people about God's word and he encouraged them. He later joined Paul and Silas in Berea. When Paul arrived in Berea, he went to the Jewish synagogue where he found that these Jews were much more noble than the ones that were in Thessalonica. They received the message with much eagerness. They were so excited to hear what Paul was saying that they went home and they went to go and read in the Bible to see if those stories were true. And I think it is really good if we can be so eager about the Bible as well that we go home every day to read our Bible to see what the stories are tell us about God. The Bereans' response to hearing the good news must have really encouraged Paul. It must, it's always so good to know that people are believing what you're telling them and get so excited about what you're telling them. If only it would be the same for all of us when we tell people about the good news. But unfortunately, it's not always like that. So in this period of, of the Bible that we're, we're learning about at the moment, how do you think people learned um, who, who lived in the different cities and towns heard about what was going on. Do you think they could just turn on the TV or the radio and hear what was going on? No, they didn't have those things. It was through the word of mouth. So they heard what people were telling them. So when the unbelieving Jews heard the news of what was happening in Berea, they quickly got together and traveled there to go and stir up the crowds because they didn't like what they were hearing. So they wanted to cause trouble. And the people of Berea quickly heard this and they quickly got Paul onto a, a, a boat out of um, Berea to Athens. And he left behind Timothy and Silas to carry on um, encouraging the, believers, the new believers of Berea. And we can be like those Berean Jews. We can be so excited about the Bible and what it tells us and teaches us. We can learn from the Bible. We can learn it in many, many ways through reading it, through drawing pictures of stories that we've heard, by painting, by dancing, by singing. We can do all these, these things. There's so much we can do. 
and we don't have to do it alone. We can get everybody to join us. We can sing to God with our families, with excitement, and you can share videos with your friends. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go and collect your family, go and rope them all in to come and sing this, this lovely worship song with you and to do the lovely actions. And then you can share it with everybody. Have some fun. make a craft to show your eagerness to learn what is in the Bible. Find your favorite Bible story. Where in the Bible can you find it? Read the story and draw a picture of your story. You can write something about your story as well. Why is it important to you? What does the story mean to you? And this story you can use to tell someone about the Bible. Many years ago, I met a lady who showed me and taught me what the value is of my Bible. It was a night and it was very cold and we went to go and hand out soup and rolls for people who live on the roads. Now this lady didn't have a home, she didn't have a place to sleep, she didn't have food. So when we handed over the food, she shared a story with us. She said one day she was looking for food in the bins and nearby was a fire. 
and she spotted a Bible burning in the fire. And she had it in her that she had to rescue that Bible and she had to take it out the fire. And she did that. She let it cool down. But that is the only Bible she has. And she reads the verses that she can. She reads the stories, which is there. But there are many missing words. But she continues to read her Bible. Now at that time, my Bible was perfect, but I was sitting in the bookshelf and I never read it. And here's a lady really wanting to read a Bible, but she didn't have all the words to it. And then I'm like, but hold on, there's much more to the Bible than what I think. And I need to find out what the Bible actually tells me. So I want you to be encouraged by this lady of her eagerness she had and her determination of reading the Bible that you need to go and find it in your hearts to make that Bible worthy that you understand it. You can't do it alone. Sometimes you think it's boring or I don't understand the words to it. But you can ask God to help you to show you the meaning of what the Bible tells us. I hope you enjoyed the time with us today and that you would go and find your Bible that is packed away under all your books and that you'll read it. Teacher Audrey will now say a prayer for us. Let us pray. Good morning, boys and girls. It's lovely to be with you this morning. Can we please close our eyes? We're going to talk to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you are with us when we share the gospel. Thank you that we are here to share your word. May we be encouraged by the people who hear and believe your word, but they are eager to know more about you. Change our hearts and our minds so that we too can be excited to read your word and be excited to tell other people about you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Remember to share this video with your friends and family. Your feedback is important to us. So please let us know if you loved this video by clicking like, subscribing and leaving a comment below. Visit our website at bononipresbyterian.org.za and follow us on Facebook at Ranfield Benoni Church.